Hello and welcome to the Wizard Weekly News. I'm Aaron Laback. And I'm Keegan Cunningham. Thank you for joining us today as we crawl closer to the end of the year. Hey Aaron, did you know that we... Wait, we just got breaking news. The Windsor girls golf team has just won the state golf title for the second year in a row. Due to this crazy weather, the state golf tournament was shortened to a one day only event and our girls team walks away with their second straight golf title. The team represented by Sarah Johnson, Kenzie Smith, Jessica Saff, and Bryn Ellis had a 20 stroke leading going into Tuesday's second day of the tournament and due to the snowfall, the rest of the tournament was canceled. Let's hear from our state champions. It feels great. I really liked being a state champion the first time because, I mean, that was super exciting. But we knew that this year we had the chance to become state champions again. And we didn't want to let that pressure get to us. But um, we ended up getting the job done. And it's really nice to have a second state title. Sure. Congratulations to the girls golf team for their outstanding accomplishments this season and over the last two seasons. Now, as I was saying earlier, Aaron, we only have eight actual school days until the end of the year. That is crazy. The end of the year is coming so fast. So for all of you that don't have your work turned in, do it now before time runs out. Also, as a reminder, the WHS library wants, to wants you to return any books that you may have not returned. No fines, no nothing. We just want the books. I think it's time we get down to more serious business. I agree. We start off today with Mrs. Uliberry's aquatic classes who have been working on building boats made from cardboard in a contest to see who can float the furthest. The students could only use cardboard boxes and tape, no flex seal. Needless to say, the box boats were not necessarily successful, but the students had a lot of fun trying. So, um, like 20 minutes ago, our teacher was like, we're building boats today, and we're like, okay, and so we have a ton of cardboard, and we're making boats, and next class period, Wednesday, we're going to be uh, racing them <laughs> and trying to see who wins. So what we're doing is we're going to take, like, the bottom of the boat, and then we have these things that like hook under and then fold up for the sides. And then once they're folded up, you put another layer of cardboard under them. So that, and then we just take like a lot of duct tape, seal it, and then do the back of the boat somehow. Hey Aaron, uh, what have you been talking about? Wait, what happened to Keegan? Keegan who? Anyway, thanks for joining us. I'm Paris Condor. Now, what were we talking about? I was talking about the box boats that Miss Uliberry Aquatics classes have been working on. That sounds fun. Hey, I've got some good news, Aaron. The art showcase has returned. The art celebration showcase gave the great artists of Windsor a chance to share their gifts with others. The art showcase was headed b up by Mrs. Winnerth in an effort to celebrate the art classes of Windsor. Visual, culinary, and performing arts were on display throughout the day for students to enjoy. Thanks to all those who participated and a special thanks to Ms. Winnerth for heading up this awesome event. In other news, recently Ms. Irvin's class decided to make a difference in the ordinary days of several of Windsor students by telling them something so simple and yet so meaningful. The reactions are priceless. Enjoy as we look at a short clip from the video, Beautiful People. We're going around the school telling them and telling people that they're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people that they're beautiful. <laughs> you were one that was picked. Mm-hmm. Nope. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Project we're doing. Um telling people that they're beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and you were one that was kept. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Dylan Michelle for his great idea and for heading up the production of the Beautiful People video. Finally today, we finish with news of some fast wizards who set school records last weekend at the state track meet. Senior Preston Terwilliger now has both the 400 meter and 200 meter school records, breaking a record set in 1991 by Greg Myers, one of the most prolific athletes WHS has ever seen. And Morgan Hikes broke the 800 meter school record as well. She now owns all four distant records with the school record in eight, the 800, the 1600, the 3200, and the 5000 meter runs. She now wears the crown for the best distant athlete, male or female, Windsor has ever had. That's pretty impressive. Congratulations to all the spring athletes that competed this season and to Preston and Morgan for setting school records at state. Well, that's going to be it for this week. 
Next week is our last show of the year. Tune in for something awesome. See you next week.